So by this point, you're probably wondering why I'm making such a big deal out of such a tiny package. And before we get the jokers in the comments, no, my girlfriend does not ask me that also. But seriously, the package that you just see me get in is important to me because it signifies, well, day one of this YouTube channel. But before we get into that, let me introduce myself. I am Dan. I'm a full-time photographer and videographer. And to be honest, I've been wanting to start this YouTube channel for literally like two years at this point but the truth is i didn't have any good ideas um i would have been doing the same old shit. what's in my camera bag gear reviews um and to be honest i don't give a shit what the max shutter speed on the new sony is or how bright the newest led light you can buy is it's just it's not it's not something that interests me i'm not too techy and into the specs of cameras and gears so I didn't really have any other ideas. I didn't have anything that I thought would bring value to YouTube. And also, I didn't have anything that I would enjoy making. At that point, it was looking very much like YouTube was never gonna happen, but probably about 18 months ago now, I started to get this little obsession with film photography. And I have no idea where it came from, because yeah, literally at that point, I, I think I thought film cameras were just like ornaments that you get from antique shop that looks call on your coffee table but yeah I learned very quickly that film photography is very much alive and people are taking some crazy photos on film cameras and yeah the more and more it was weird because the more and more I got into it and I was reading about it and researching it the more and more I started to like the look of film photos even more probably yeah even more than a digital photo at that point so that wasn't something I was expecting and it got to a point actually where I found myself starting to edit my own digital images in the style of film photography. So adding grain and trying to give it that retro look. And it was at that point when I realized, you know what, I'm into this, I need to give it a go. So I got myself a little 35 millimeter camera and that kind of takes us back nicely to the parcel. It's from a company called Cool Film and I found them online. It's a, basically a subscription service that every month will send me two rolls of random surprise film. Um, and because I don't know about film, it's not something I shoot regularly, it, I'm new to it. I thought it'd be a cool way to kind of jump in, try some films that I wouldn't necessarily know about to start with. And yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So let's find out what I got in the first box. Yeah, you know that it's true. You say that you love me, baby, what you trying to do? We can see the world every day, me and you. Sunshine and rainbows. I've been feeling good, yeah, you know that it's true. You say that you love me, baby, what you tryna do? Every day is sunshine and rainbows. I've been looking good, tryna hit the mangoes. Take a trip out to the beach, just see where the day goes. Put a smile on my face. Yeah, I feel So, as you can see, in my first month's box, I've got. Fuji Superior 400, um, which after doing a bit of research, I found out is a daylight balanced color negative film. It has some nice fine grain. It's particularly well known for delivering some beautiful saturated vivid colors. And it also apparently has a wide exposure latitude, which I'm pleased about because it should be uh, pretty forgiving for a newbie like myself. I also got a roll of film Washi Washi S. I don't know, film washi S, uh, which obviously you've probably worked out I'd never heard of. But again, after a bit of research, I found out that it's actually used as sound recording film, um, which I have no idea what that means, to be perfectly honest. So if anyone does, please comment below and help me out. But aside from that, it's obviously a black and white film. Again, it's apparently got quite fine grain and it's particularly known for being really sharp uh, and delivering kind of high definition images. So yeah, pretty excited about those two. Probably not two that I'd have bought myself. 
so let's see where I get with them. Okay, so I've got a little disclaimer before we go any further. Uh, the two rolls that you've just seen me unbox are not the first two rolls I'm ever going to shoot on film. Um, complete disclosure, just before I filmed this video, I have shot two rolls before. So I've, put, I've shot a roll of uh, Portrait 800 and I've shot a roll of Kodak Gold 200. Um, and I bought those purely just to kind of run through the camera and get used to used to winding the film. I'm putting the film in, literally that's how much of a beginner I am. Um, so yeah, completely up front, the roll that you're about to see me shoot, uh, or the two rolls that we've just unboxed that you're about to see me shoot, they are not the first rolls that I've shot. But honestly, hand on heart, before those, I've literally only shot two rolls. And to be honest, they were just snapshots around my house and on family walks. But thinking about it, I'll probably, I'll do a video on those two as well, because they're kind of momentous. They're my first ever film photo. So even if they're completely rubbish, I think I'll probably cover them. Because yeah, my idea for this channel is, this is day one, okay. Forget about that, they're practice ones. Forget about the two practice rolls. This is day one now. I've unboxed my new rolls and I want you guys to come along and it's gonna be completely honest and open. Uh, I'll show you all the images that I take, even if they're complete fails, uh, underexposed, overexposed, because I think if I'm learning, hopefully somebody else can learn alongside. Um, because yeah, I'm a professional photographer in terms of shooting digital, but moving over to film, like I said, I've got two rolls under my belt that is it. Uh, so everything that I do from now on is a learning curve and I'm excited to show you all. So I've got my Fuji Superior 400 and I've got my film Washi, Washi, Wishy, Washi, whatever it is, S. And yeah, the plan was to go out and shoot. My ideal plan would have been to load up the Fuji Superior and go and find an epic sunrise. That's my favorite thing to shoot. And I've been reading and hearing all about this amazing saturation of vivid colors so that was my original plan but I went onto the weather forecast I'm from the UK and I saw cloud cloud rain more cloud rain and cloud and pretty much the next two weeks were a complete write-off and I could tell that I probably wasn't gonna see much of a sunrise for the next fortnight or so and I really wanted to get this video out so we went for plan B I loaded up the film Washi S and I thought, you know what, it's going to be overcast, it's going to be a bit murky, it's going to be gloomy. Let's see if I can get some kind of moody black and white images at my local park. And I'm very lucky right on my doorstep, especially in these lockdown conditions, to have a beautiful park with loads of woodland, deep forest and some really cool places to go and take images. So yeah, we headed out with the film Washi S and hopefully going to get some amazing images where you got me all in my feelings feeling things where you got me all in my feelings i go get the weed on the way i go get the drink on the way where you got me open babe. it's how i want you Okay, so you've just seen me arrive at the park and head off towards the woodland, camera in hand, ready to go. And now I'm home. So I'm literally filming this on the afternoon of the morning that you've just seen at the park. And it's only just really dawned on me that I can't just put my SD card in the laptop and get the images and show you on screen. You gotta wait. So yeah, bit of a cliffhanger. I'm very sorry, but should create a bit of suspense for the next video. Um, but yeah, seriously, the images that I took this morning will be in a video very soon. And yeah, you'll see that I encountered some issues and 
I don't even know what we're going to get, to be completely honest. I felt like an absolute beginner photographer again, completely out of my comfort zone. And part of me genuinely wouldn't be surprised if I get 36 images that are completely and utterly unusable. But we'll see. I, honestly, I don't know. So yeah, they're going to go off to the lab to get developed. And as soon as they're back, I'll do an update video on how I got on. And like I said, it's going to be totally transparent. Whatever comes back, I'll share it with you. And even if it's completely embarrassing and I've got nothing of worth, we'll share it, learn from it, and hopefully it'll definitely help me to do better next time. Hopefully it'll help somebody else as well. And if not, it might be entertaining at least. In between though, I probably will also make a video on the two practice roles that I was telling you about earlier. So they've been with the lab quite a while now. I'm expecting them any day now to come back, the, uh, the scans. So I'll make a video on those because, yeah, like I said, they are literally my first ever film photos. So I'm quite interested to see how they turn out. And again, if they're awful, I'll share them anyway. So that's it. My first YouTube video is done. And anybody who's made it this far, I genuinely want to thank you so much. I really hope you like the video. Hopefully you can see that I'm all in on this. Uh, I'm going to put loads of effort in. And I've got big plans. I know everyone says that, but I've got big plans for the channel. Uh, three to four videos every single month. And I'm in it for the long run. I've made a commitment to myself that I've wanted to do this for years. I'm going to stick with it and make it happen. And you know what? I think I'm going to enjoy it, to be honest. It's not going to seem mature. But I do know that there are going to be times where I feel like not many people are watching the videos in the early days. And I might be running out of ideas for video topics. There are going to be days I watch enough YouTube to see the big creators talking about how hard YouTube is, it's not all fun. So yeah, I live in the real world. I know there are gonna be some weeks where I don't feel like knocking a video out, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm committed, it's happening, and I'd love to have you guys along. So if you enjoyed today's, it'd mean the world if you could hit that subscribe button, comment on the video, like the video, and you know what, if you could share the video and send the link to somebody or tell somebody about it as well to get them involved, that would be amazing. So that's it, first video complete. And yeah, the only thing to do now is to wait for those images to come back from the lab and see what the hell I got. Farewell.